Hi everyone. I thought that we would spend a little bit of time and talk about probability and go through the vocabulary of what it means to do probability with replacement and without replacement. So I know that some of you play cards and some of you don't play cards at all, but cards are really good for teaching what probability with and without replacement means. So consider a standard deck of cards and there are 52 cards in a deck. There are 13 hearts, spades, diamonds, and clubs. So what is the probability of drawing a club, replacing it, and then drawing a club again? First of all, this is the multiplication rule. It's the probability of one event followed by another event or maybe two or three events, but they're one right after another. So drawing a club, there are 13 clubs out of all 52 cards, and then you pick the club and then you put it back. So there are still 13 clubs out of 52 clubs, and we can multiply that together. You could reduce that and say 1 fourth times 1 fourth, or you could say 13 over 52 times 13 over 52 and get 0 0.0625. Again, when we write probabilities, use three decimal places after the zero. So it's really three significant digits. Okay. The second one, what's the probability of drawing a club and then keeping it and drawing another club? So there are still 13 clubs out of all 52 cards, and then we draw one, cl one club out. So we did have 13, but I'm holding one in my hand. I put it in my pocket. So now we have 12 clubs left, and we have 51 cards left. So this probability is going to be slightly different. 13 over 52 times 12 over 51, 0 0.0588. Okay, just a little bit different. So we'll do the same thing with getting a face card. Now, out of 52 cards, there are 12 face cards. Four kings, four queens, four jacks. Aces are not face cards. You might get 15 points playing rummy with an ace, but it is not a face card because there's no face on it. So what's the probability of drawing two face cards with replacement? So to begin with, 12 out of the 52 cards are face cards, and then we put it back. So there are still 12 out of 52 cards that are face cards. Point zero five three three. Okay, so this time let's do without replacement. We'll have a face card. Only this time, we don't put it back. So there's only 51 cards to choose from the second time, and there are only 11 face cards that are left. Point zero, zero. 4977, so we'll call that point zero four nine eight. Okay, so with replacement, without replacement. Now on those two problems it said, this is with replacement, this is without replacement. And sometimes you just have to read the word problem and go, what is this saying? Is it with or without replacement? So let's say that we have a fifth grade class down the hill over at Hudson Elementary School. There are 13 boys and 12 girls. The teacher randomly picks two students to be in a play. What's the probability that they are both boys? Would you pick a boy to, put it in, to be in the play and then throw him back and then pick him again? No, so this is implied without replacement. So we have 13 boys out of all 25 students and then once we pick the boy to be in a play 
then there are only 12 boys left out of a class of 24 students. Okay, so we will multiply that together. Point 0.26, or you could call it point 0.260 if you want to. So what's the probability of getting one girl and then one boy? Okay. So this was a boy and then a second boy. So this time we're going to pick a girl. So to begin with, we have 12 girls out of all 25 students. And then we have 24 students left. Of those 24 students, how many of those are boys? 13. So we are going to end up with exactly, exactly the same answer, but for two different reasons. So we picked a boy, and then we picked a girl. Okay, now other times probability is implied to do your probability with, with replacement. So what is the probability of flipping a coin three times and getting all tails? Well, we will flip it three times, first time, second time, third time. The first time, probability is a half. Second time, it's still a half. Third time, it is still a half. So that will end up giving us a probability of one eighth, and you're welcome to change that to a decimal if you want to. But the probability doesn't change. And, sometimes, and gamblers are the absolute worst at this. They will bet, 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 and then they'll say things like, I am due a seven. Well, no, you're not, because the probability doesn't change. Or maybe a family has three boys, and then they'll go, oh, we are due a girl. No, you're not. It is still one half. It does not change. Okay. If you are a 75% free throw shooter, what's the probability that you hit three in a row? Okay. Does your free throw percentage change during the game? Not really. So if you're a 75% free throw shooter, your first shot has a probability of 0.75, your second shot is still 0.75, and your third shot is still 0.75. So this is kind of like without replacement. Things are not changing. So we will raise 0.75 to the third. So that's 0.422. So when you're watching a basketball game and your, your favorite player that's a 75 or 85% free throw shooter suddenly misses and you want to go, hey, did you not know that you were an 85% free throw shooter? What are you doing missing that? It's not the same. You just multiply it together. We're using the multiplication rule. Okay, so after this video, I'm going to have two or three questions that you're going to do with replacement, without replacement. So, hope this helped and have a good day.